Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a checkbox that will select or deselect all of the other checkboxes in a list. So what I've got on screen here is I have a interactive checklist uh, where you can select your favourite fruit or that maybe should say fruits because I can select multiple fruit items here and as I do so you see it highlights the item in the list. Now this is a very similar setup to my video on creating a checklist like this and I'll put a link to that in the video uh, description of this video for those who haven't seen that before and want to know how to create this. For now though we're going to dedicate our time on how to create this checkbox above and where if I select that box that will select all the items in the list or indeed clear all the items in the list. This video is the result of a comment I got on that other video where somebody was asking that if I did have a large list how can I clear all the other checkboxes quickly with a click of a button rather than going through and unticking them individually which is time consuming and a little bit annoying. Now we are going to need a macro here. The checkbox and that is already created and as I've mentioned I'll have a link in the video of this description, sorry the description of this video to show you how that is done. Now one thing I will do before I get the macro going is I want to show you that if I right click on that checkbox at the top, in the top left hand corner it tells me that is checkbox 2. We're going to need that in the macro. So I want to mention that. That is checkbox 2, the name of that. Now let's get into the Visual Basic Editor and start dealing with this macro. This is already a macro enabled file, this spreadsheet. And I've already got my Developer tab on screen here. So I can just click on Developer and click on Visual Basic on the far left or the keyboard shortcut Alt and F11. That will take me into this editor. And let me go and insert a new module into the project that I have. And I'll start up a sub procedure, a macro, which I'm simply going to call all checkboxes. And in here, I'm going to declare a variable, which I'm just going to call CB. Easy as that. And this is going to be as a checkbox. Now, if any of you are watching this and you're new to macros and VBA as well, I would also put a link in the description of this video to our online course in how to learn VBA. So if some of this stuff, like the de declaration of variables and the loop we're about to create is new to you, then I encourage you to enroll in that course and get up to speed real, real quick. But now I've got that declaration. I have a checkbox, which I'm going to refer to as CB. Now I'm just going to use that variable to loop through every single checkbox on the sheet. And it's not going to take much code here. It's going to be a tiny little macro, really. I'll have a for each loop to loop through every checkbox in the checkboxes of the active sheet. Therefore, active sheet dot checkboxes. Now, within this for next loop, let me put the word next in now. Always a good habit, I think. And we're going to have an if statement to kick off. I want to know that if the name of the current checkbox you're checking is not, that's the not operator there, active sheet, the I is really annoying on this keyboard, active sheet dot checkboxes. And now I'm going to reference that name, check box two. Then, so remember, sorry, I just missed out the property dot name there. Now remember, just before I started coming into this VBA area, I made a specific point of saying that that was checkbox two. That kind of master checkbox, that deselect select all checkbox was checkbox two. So if the name of the checkbox you're looking at is not the same as the name of 
checkbox two, if it's not that main one, then what I want you to do is make the value of the checkbox you're looking at the same as the value of that master checkbox. So if somebody selects the top one, select all of them. If somebody deselects the top one, deselect all of them. Now, I'll tell you what I may as well do here is just try and copy some of that code above. Let me copy that stuff up there and paste it down here. The mistake I made there, it didn't really save me much time. <laughs> but it, you know, it could have, and maybe I should have done that to start with. End if. Okay, so I said it'd be a small amount of code, and that is that. Declaring the checkbox to refer to a CB, loop through every checkbox in the sheet. If the name is not the same as that top one, then make it the same value as it. So I'm essentially ignoring the master one. Okay, now if I close down this bit of code, and if I select this checkbox in a moment, it's not going to do anything. What I now need to do is assign the macro to it. Now I can just right click on that checkbox, assign the macro, choose my all checkboxes macro, and it's now assigned. So if I tick that box, it selects all of them. If I untick the box, it deselects all of them. So I now have this kind of master checkbox then when I select it, selects all. When I deselect it, deselects all. And it's just a simple little bit of code, that tiny macro that will drive now that checkbox. Now, as I mentioned, this video came about by a comment on um, my other video, my interactive checklist video. And if I did go back to my Visual Basic editor, because really that question I had was about how to clear them all quickly. So you can easily adapt this code to your own needs. And rather than having a select all, deselect all one, I could have just used some code uh, to simply say, you know, uh, cb.value um, equals false or something like that. So, you know, if somebody checks that box at the top, uh, deselect all of them. Now, I didn't really want to do this here. I've gone for the approach I've done with a select all, deselect all, because it is a checkbox. It's either true or it's false. If you're going to take the approach of deselecting all, I'd probably put a uh, command button on the sheet instead, a little clicky button that would just clear all the checkboxes. And I think that's probably a better approach. So this macro could be assigned to a button on the sheet instead. They click it go through and deselects every single box on the sheet. Uh, but for now, uh, I've gone for this select all, deselect all, very similar to the checkboxes that uh, you get in Excel's filter tool nowadays. Uh, and also where else you kind of find them on the web and that kind of stuff. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergarga.com.